Hi guys and happy Friday. I'm so excited for it to be Friday, but I just wanted to show you guys a little intro of what I do best, which is called teaching. Um, I was sitting here trying to figure out what is the best lesson that I can show you guys. And I guess the best thing I can show you is what I do when I'm tutoring my math kids. And the, the one thing that they love to do is this theory called the Pythagorean theorem. So that is what I'm going to do. So this is how I break it down and I hope you guys like it. So the very first thing that I always do is I say the word again and again and again because this is the very hard word for my kids to understand. So Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem, which is Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So basically this theory says if you have a triangle, the short sides of the triangle is going to equal up to the long side. Okay? So usually in a math problem, they will give you the short sides lengths. But then you would use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the long, the, the long side of the triangle. That formula is a squared plus b squared will equal c squared. a squared plus b squared will equal c squared. So let's start by showing you guys my example of a triangle. It is not the best triangle in the world, but hey, <laughs> I do not have that much time to get it done right here. So... What it's saying is that this short side, a squared, plus this short side, this short side of b squared, will equal up to this length, which is going to be c squared. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is when they usually give you the length of this one and this one, and you're trying to figure out what is the length of that one. So let's look into more details, shall we? Here we go. So we have this. I gave you the length of this one, it's just three. I gave you the length of this line, which is four. We're trying to figure out what is the length of this line, which is the unknown, which is C. So what we're gonna do is A squared plus B squared equals C squared, okay? So what we have here is A, which is three squared. And we know we need the squared, we're just gonna go three times three, we're just gonna times it by its number to square it. Three times three is nine plus four squared, which is four times four equals 16, you got it. So nine plus 16 equals 25, which should be what this is, which is our C squared, okay? Let's look at it in more detail, shall we? All right, let's go. A little bit more details of what I'm just saying is A squared, three. So three times three is nine, plus B squared, Four times four is 16. Nine plus 16 will total up to, you're right, you guessed it, 25. So now we know the unknown. We know what this length is, which is 25. A squared plus B squared will always equal C squared, which is 25, okay? I hope you guys understand. And like I said, I would do a lot of more examples until my kids get it and hopefully they will get it right away this is my little lesson about pythagorean theorem it's a fun word to say if you actually think about it okay thanks once again for watching this video i hope you guys consider me and i love to teach and as you can see i'm very enthused about it so if you have any questions please get in contact with me but thank you so much for watching this video thank you happy friday